Welcome to another episode of the Blender Developer Sneak Peek. It's 2 a.m. now and I'm re-recording this whole tutorial again because my um, screencasting program was shit like hell. I have to say that. Um, and I hope that it will work now even better. And today's episode's topic is volumetrics with cycles and I'm very happy to present it to you because it found its way into trunk just now just uh, two days or one day before and so I'm ho really hoping that you learn something new and see what amazing features the Blender 2.7 release will have so let's start we're here at my standard scene and I'd like to divide the screen to have a little bit space for the node editor. And when we select now this uh, this default cube, then we we'll see okay there's a closey BS BSDF on there, but I don't like to have that. I'd like to have uh, our new nodes on the shader and volume absorption that's the node that is capable of doing volumetric materials and when I connect this node to the volume here and define a border because I don't like to wait as long then we'll um, see that it's loading the render kernels and I didn't thought of this before I was just compiling a fresh new blender so I have to stop the screencast and continue right away and there we are again it just finished compiling and when I now hit shift Z to enable the rendering then you see just the outline of a volume here and when I change the color it's even better visible. Let's increase the density now and there you can see how oh cool. So that's not cool but here is our, our volume. rendering just fine and maybe you already saw this warning here volumes are not supported on GPU and at the same time you see I have GPU compute here that's because my uh, my build my blender build is built with a specific define so it is working on GPU right now but um, we won't enable it before we uh, implemented every feature that we'd like to have and uh, iron out all the bugs that are possibly in there. So when you uh, download a build from Graphic All or from builders.blender.org, then it may be that this um, this won't be there. So it won't work, and uh, you only have a black volume then. So that's the first thing I'd like to show you. The second thing um, would be to subdivide this three times and apply um, a displace modifier with a texture so that we can see how cool this absorption is working. And since today, I think, let's try it. The uh, volume the volume metrics emission should be working too so let's try this one with a color like green and yes there you see when we uh, delete all those lamps that we got a cool emission effect with volume metrics right in there great the next thing I'd like to show you is how you can create a class 
less. That should be easy. Shader get less. So nothing new there. But when you'd like to have a class that is absorbing light while it's traveling through it, then you can simply plug in a volume to the socket and let's define this class color and when you increase the density now then you got perfectly absorbing class when you have an, when you are decreasing the density then it's clearer and clearer so it's very very easy to uh, finally to uh, create absorbing class or frosted class when you increase the roughness a bit so that's the first thing I'd like to show you, or the second thing, I don't know. Uh, but that's important for you to ease your um, shader creation. And the next thing that is really cool is when we delete this one and this one, and we are creating a cube, in conjunction with an array modifier 1.2 and this one can be set to 0 let's add a few and let's rotate them around the z-axis Then you see the world here and we got no mist effect so to say. In Blender Internal we always had a mist effect and with volume absorption you can have one too for the, um, for the world. That's very easy. Just plug in a volume absorption node as usual. And then, and that is a bug still um, restart the renderer hey I think there are more bugs in there because now the background is completely black that should not be like that I think let me just shortly look at this no that's absolutely not intended yeah I think that's still a bug in there Switch to the CPU. Maybe it's working there. No, it's not. Oh, maybe that's no bug. Maybe that's because the the world. So that's still a bug. The the world, uh, the sky texture here is not uh, considered to be there. But maybe it's because we got no light in the scene, and that would be very easy to test. Yep. It's exactly this. Just use the the lights. Make it a bit stronger so we can see something. Scale it on the x-axis. And then you see that we got a mist effect here. When I decrease the density of our volume, like this, Zero point one. Then we got a, a side that is uh, very far, but when we increase it, say zero point one or even further, then you see that the mist is thicker and thicker, and we won't see as much as we saw before. So this is the mist effect. The second cool thing that is um, 
implemented and very useful. It has some glitches still, but just wait for the final release. Uh, Prest is working uh, very much on it, and so I'm very confident that it will be great afterwards. And as this is the last uh, episode in 2013, I'd like to wish you a Happy New Year already. Add us on Google+, Plus, on Vimeo or on Twitter and we see us in the new year. Happy planning!